so this is a basic uh, basic instrumental tuner. It's called the Clear Tone Tuner, and it fits nicely on my iPhone. So I use the tuner in all of my band classes, all of my rehearsals, uh, either myself or I give it to a student who's in charge of tuning the ensemble. Uh, so we can tune either large groups together or individuals, uh, and it will tune to any pitch that you require. So the tuner itself is just a really convenient thing to have on you at all times. In the old days, tuners were the size of like a small transistor radio, and they plugged in, and so they were kind of difficult to bring to a rehearsal, or especially if we're outdoors or something with a marching band. And with this, it's, it's on me the whole time, and if there's ever a discrepancy of pitch while we're in rehearsal, I can just pull my phone out and tune it up real quick and give everybody a a real accurate precision type uh, indication of where they should be in terms of their intonation. Yeah, there are a number of apps available through um, Google and through uh, Apple to tune your instruments with. Uh, some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for. This particular one has a small cost that goes along with it, but it also has a number of features that you wouldn't get on a free app. Uh, so I can change the, uh, the tuning frequency. So normally we would tune to an A440, which is 440 hertz. Uh, but I can adjust this to be tuning to 442, 444, which seems like a very minor adjustment. But when you're talking about performing outside in different temperatures, you have to adjust the, uh, the frequency to match some instruments that aren't able to change pitches like wind and brass instruments can. So it's a really nice app to have in that respect. So the other nice thing about this particular tuner is that it will provide you with a pitch instead of you giving it the pitch. So you can match with the sound that's already being presented. And it's real simple. You just switch over to this device and turn the sound on and then I pick whatever note it is that I'm trying to tune. It'll give me different octaves. That's a more preferable octave for me and then I'll try and match the pitch with that. The tuner also, you can, you can use it to uh, check pitches on the piano. Uh, now obviously the piano is not something that I'm going to tune manually. I would have to call in a tuner to do something. But you can see how uh, the tuner will match the pitch with whatever note I'm playing on the piano. So if I play a D on the piano, it finds the D. And if any other pitch I want to play, G sharp. A flat, C note. You can see how it also picks up my voice as it's as it's tuning. So you have to be really careful not to uh, not to have too many extraneous noises. It's going to pick up everything. This piano hasn't been tuned in about a year, so it needs a little bit of adjustment. You can tell, uh, which is fine because I'm not using it for any performances. It's just for rehearsal purposes. a little bit of Rule Britannia, which is one of the pieces the marching band plays on a regular basis. And you'll see how it follows the pitches as I play them, and it will tell me if I'm sharp or flat or in tune on any specific one. And since I haven't practiced a lot, it's probably going to tell me I'm out of tune a lot. That's not even the right note. In the grand scheme of things, not too bad.